Hello and welcome to the Borrows Only RuneScape account. We're on a journey to 10,000 Borrows chests without ever gaining experience or gold anywhere else but Borrows. We came here at level 4 combat and we're not stopping until we have the levels and gear we need to achieve our goal. This is episode 12 and today we're going to get our first item. Let's go. Hope you liked the new intro there, spent a wee bit of time working on it last night. It's not perfect yet, but it's definitely a step up from the old pretty basic one. I'll tidy it up for the next few videos and should be pretty good when we're done. I got that a bit of graphics from a boy Volkaban on Instagram. I like asked him if he'd do a borrows pick and he did, but he's not up to ask if he can use it yet, so hopefully he's cool. I'll put a link to his Instagram in the description there, he's got some really cool pictures. Hey, so here we are coming in with chest 64, yeah chest 64, just 4.7k on that one, not bad though, having this here dehyde is insane for poisoning them like a hit, I'd say at least twice as often as I did before, way way more likely to get the poison off, which is class, it's really good for killing the brothers. Anyway, we're going to smash out a load of chests in this video, work our way towards our first item, hopefully we can get it. Just to show you how accurate this is, so this here is me fighting arms, one hit right? Two hits in a row. Still not poisoned, got a bit unlucky there. But lot three in a row, just every single time on arms it smashes him. He's the lowest range defense out of the brothers, but he still has a good bit, like he's quite a high level. But it just always hits on arms with the adamant crossbow, full blue dehyde. It's just so good, like smashes him. But anyway, gonna head over to a full chest here. Hopefully, the only problem we have is if we get DH in the tunnel or if we can't spawn him in one of the side rooms, you know, because if you get him in the middle room, there's no real safe spot. So there's Kirill's killed, pretty easy. I'm using the same method as used on the DH room in Guthans there, just mark the tiles so you can run back and forward without getting touched, get him poisoned, just kill him. It takes a while, but pretty easy. With Vrax, you can't because his esophagus is facing the wrong way, it's facing north south instead of, you know, east west. So with him you just do the step in, step out, kill him from the safe spot. Got Torags to spawn. And yeah, we've got a DH in the middle room, so we just have to skip that. 5 kill chest, 32k, nice. Right, it's time to buy the second most overpowered item in the game. You thought Emerald Bolt C were insane when you can hit like 60s at this low combat. Wait till you see this thing, Swamp Lizard. Actually, any Salamander has this ability. There's ability that makes you be able to do unlimited damage with magic stance, you know, a stance that can hit through armor without ever getting touched. It's not extremely quick, but it just means you can do a load of additional damage. I'll be combining this here effect with the poison, and it's hard to explain, so I'll just show you when you get over here, but there's no other item in the game but salamanders that can do this. There is other items that can do damage without you taking damage, but none that can do it with magic. So none that's good on borrows. So we've geared up, got ourselves the swamp lizard, I'm waiting you see this. So you get arms and we'll just poison them here quickly and then I'll show you what this here thing can do. So we hit 11 there. He's not poisoned I don't think so we'll hit him a few more times with the crossbow. And the crossbow will do like 60 damage and the only problem is at the moment I have to wait for the poison to tick down and then do the additional re-poison to finish him off with the other damage. Oh he is actually poisoned there right. So wait and you see what you can do with this salamander. Or Swamp Lizard actually. Here we go. So you stick it on Blaze. You can actually do it with range as well I think. And there's no other range item in the game that can do this. But look at that. Zero damage taken. I just hit him with range. He's no idea. Or with mage. Range I. And he's no idea. Wait for his health to disappear. Hit him again. Hit him with range without him touching me. If you hit him with any other range item in the game. He gets a tick off. Because it doesn't instantly roll the damage. It ticks a second roll it. Melee does instantly roll it. So you can flinch with melee. But you can't flinch with anything else. You know what else makes this like, stupidly overpowered? It actually inflicts poison that hits 6. If you use the melee stance. So not only does it hit them when they can't hit you. You can also poison them with it. And as you've seen from the Emerald Bolt C, poison is stupidly overpowered. Like at this low combat, you can hit 63s with the poison as well as like 10s with the salamander. And once you have higher strength, you can hit insane with salamanders. If you didn't know, the magic max hit is much lower than the strength stance. People can actually hit 40 plus with the strength stance. 
Here's a video found of a pure hitting it for a 38 on the combat dummy, but it also scales from your like strength bonus. So if you're wearing bandos or borrows gloves or anything like that, you can hit over 40s. So Salamander costs under 1k and it can hit 100 plus damage at high levels. It's, it's stupidly overpowered. Hitting people for 100s when they can't touch you, just mental. But yeah, this year Salamander is going to increase her kill speed by a long way, like it's going to be class. We need to work ourselves up to getting the orange Salamander unlocked and eventually up to black. <sighs> Ooh, Dorax just killed us. Hit us for a 33. So if you mistime it or don't have him lured right, he can still hit you. You need to like, be careful, especially on DH whenever flinching with the Salamander, but most of the time you're fine. Another thing that's insane about Swamp Lizard, Salamanders and all that is the towers are really good Herblore XP, so everybody who wants to like get AFK Herblore XP mix them, they're really just chill to make a load of them. It means there's loads of the ammo in the game and nobody uses it for some reason, so all of the ammo is like 1 or 2 GP each. So it's pretty much free ammo that can just destroy any of these brothers. At the minute I think our max hit with this one is 10s, but once we get up to like Sorry, I was just luring Varax there. Yeah, once we get up past like 75 magic, or even like 90 magic, we'll be able to wreck them. We'll be able to hit like 25s with the Black Salamander while they can't touch us. And if we get high strength and attack, we'll be able to like poison them with it as well. There's a couple of chests coming in, 67, 68. Unfortunately, no items. Managed to buy ourselves a rune skirt for 40k. I'm just gonna buy myself a shield here. The Guthix one wouldn't buy, so we just went for a ancient and buy either. Armadil kite shield, just for a bit of fashion scape, you know. Can sell all our Addy now, there were 40 plus defense. And I think that's what we'll go with. We need a bit more money to buy the rune chain. But yeah, that's pretty decent to have all the rune items unlocked. We're using melee now to get our potential in between chests. So every chest, we get a load of melee XP and sometimes we'll just be AFK down there. Because we don't take as much damage from them, we'll be able to just sit in this room that has only the blood worms in it. Crypt worms, blood worms, whatever these boys are called. There's 31 attack, 300 total level coming in. There's 32, 33, 34 attack. Just chilling down here with 100%. And here we are with 35. I'm slowly going to work up towards 50 to unlock the orange salamander because we've already got the range and mage out of the way. You need 50 range, mage, and attack to equip it. And it'll give us plus one extra max hit. So we'll be able to hit 11s once we get the orange salamander. So there's 36 attack and there's a chest. I didn't bother killing Torags because he's got low items and he was in the room like a bit harder to kill. There's enough money to get ourselves a rune chain body which is a big upgrade over the Addy plate. So there we go full set of rune on looking like an absolute beast. There's chest 40 coming in. Again just five for other kill that time because we had DH in the room. 49 hit points just while I was flinching DH here. It's good when you have him up top because he's easier to kill. But yeah, there's chest 71, no luck with it. And here we are coming in with a massive level in the account. 40 attack will give us Brian Saber, it's like the best 40 attack weapon you can get. It's better than the rune skim. So we'll head over and try to buy one of them. Not sure how much they are, I've not used one in a while, but they're like plus two strength higher than the skimitar. Let's see, Brian Saber. Nah, it's 150k, so we can't afford that. Just sell our Addy skim, buy ourselves a rune skim, we'll go for the budget one at the minute. I don't even think plus two strength is that important, it probably wouldn't give us a max hit most of the time. But yeah, we're going to get 40 strength here, and this will give us 40 base. 40 plus attack, strength, defense, range, and mage. And there it is, boys, looking pretty strong. I think we're 50 combat with them stats. There we go, 50 combat with a 40 plus base. Looking good. Here's chest 73, another leak clue scroll. I think we've got three or four of these already in 73 chests. 37k in that one though. Good bit of money. And I've decided just to blast out this attack here. There's 41, 42, 43. We're working up towards unlocking the red salamander. I am still going to do a couple of chests, but I really want to get the salamander unlocked, the orange one, sorry, because then, yeah, it'll just make our trips much quicker when we can flinch a bit more damage. Damn, 500 cosmic chaos, 58k. Chaos are so cheap. There's an X chest, only 20k, and this one is 22k, 75, 76. And we hit 44 attack, and here is 45 attacks. Just five more levels to unlock the orange salamander. There's chest 77. Still no items. Like, 
Hope we don't go as dry as like say engineer. I think he went a hundred plus chests without getting an item. He was doing six brothers the whole way though, so we're not as unlucky yet. But there's 78, still no items, but a 70k chest. I'm sure that's our best chest so far. I don't think we've got any that high. That's class, so 70k in one chest. If we could get a few more of them, we'd be flying. There's what our GE history looks like. Sold the pie dishes are actually selling for 60, right? And look at that, the red berry pies buy for 24, the heel tens. So that means you're making 36 GP every single time you eat a red berry pie. And also the meat pies that heal 12, so they're better. They only cost 54, so you're still making profit using them as a food. So it's not a free food. It's a food that makes profit when you use it. It's class. All right, so headed back over here. And I bought 10,000 fire strikes. Because if you, right, so come down here, fight these wee spiders for a while and rats. Oh, this is the rat room actually. Fight the rats for a bit. Diagro. And then if you stand in here, there's actually a safe spot that you can cast over. It's kind of like splashing, but when you splash, you're in combat, so you don't log out. But because I'm out of combat, he can't actually hit me. It means if I don't click every couple of minutes, my account will log out. There's 52 magic. Gonna use up a load of these spells here. And if we get past 55, there's 53. 55 will mean that the salamander max hit goes up by one. It goes up every five levels pretty much with this here swamp lizard. So there's 54, one more level, 55, there we go. So now our salamander should hit 11s, I think. Not really sure, because you have to do the math and it. it only shows on wiki the max hit for the black salamander, the swamp lizard, it just gives like the formula. But if we get the orange one, we'll definitely be able to hit 11s. We might even be able to hit 12s with it. So there's 49 attack, one more level, and we're just going to grind it out here, and we'll finally be able to use the orange salamander. There it is, boys, 50 attack. We've put so much training time in in this video, like, we've got 20 plus attack levels. Just finishing off the chest, 79, still no items, but we're about to get a massive upgrade here. And here we go, the orange salamander, our insanely overpowered swamp lizard, just got an upgrade to be even more insanely overpowered. I think this one takes Martin Tower. Yeah, I think I hope we bought the right tower actually. Should we really check that? But yeah, here we go. Look at that. If you seen this boy coming for you, you would run away. A swamp lizard that throws fire, that can hit round corners, and that uses cheap food. Pretty sure I bought the right one. Grom Marntel, yeah, we're sweet. I was thinking it might have been Tarman, but yeah, Tarman's the one X. So red salamander uses Tarman. Cool. So we head back down and just using this tactic, if I don't have any energy, I just kind of tank DH. I don't think he can hit 52s, he's not killing me yet. He has hit the odd like 35 and stuff and it does use a lot of food. But if I've no run energy, I just get him in the safe spot, do one hit for one hit. Get him poisoned and now here we go. Flinch him once and that kind of resets his attack cycle. And then I can just flinch him with the salamander and he'll not one bang me. There we go, 10s. Pretty good. 11s, yeah, so it can definitely hit 11s with this one, probably 12s. If it can't hit 12s, it'll just be like a few magic levels off. So headed down, got Farx Rex in the tunnel. And I can even flinch them in the tunnel here using this little lantern, and they always spawn beside it. So this is class, I'll be able to get six kill brother trips every single time if I wanted using the safe spots in this room. Whew. 83k jesus that's our biggest chest yet by a long way i think our highest before that was 70k right i've put a load of effort into this one we've got loads of upgrades i know i promised you an item and i have grinded out a lot of chests but unfortunately we haven't got lucky but i've had a chat with future editing me and we definitely get an item in the next video i really wanted to get one out of the way in this video but i hope all these upgrades and all this progress is enough for you guys oh this lucky fucker hi he got the cape of the skulls and power MET in one easy clue scroll. 18.2 mil. Absolute beast. And an ultimate Iron Man as well. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one, lads. Bye.